Hi, I'm Doggy Dan, full-time professional dog trainer and behavioural specialist. I love dogs. I've worked with hundreds over the years of every shape, size, age and breed, as well as their often colourful owners. From barking aggressive chihuahuas to territorial pit bulls, if a dog is causing grief or terror, drop it. I'll work with the owners to turn their troubled dogs into great dogs. Sit. The connection that I've got with, with dogs is, is really deep. I mean, it's hard to actually explain it. Um, a lot of people actually believe I was a dog in a past life. That's not me saying it, that's other people. I think they really mean it. There's not many dogs who I don't understand. Uh, that even within a couple of hours, I, I feel like I totally get the, the, often I feel like it's the poor dog. Um, and I feel like the dog gets me. That's the beautiful thing. And I, I guess with dogs, it is actually, so often it's so simple. Dogs are pack animals. And they instinctively, through nature, follow a pack leader. So if you are the pack leader, the dogs will follow. The secret to my success really lies in the fact that I've come to understand how to be the pack leader in a way that doesn't use any force, fear or aggression. And when you do that, dogs will instinctively follow you because they're pack animals. Yesterday was a classic example of 50 kilogram Malamute who they could not walk on the lead. They'd been to a couple of trainers already. They'd used the force method of using a chain and it was nothing to do with the actual walk that he needed, he didn't need training on the lead. It was a case of when this dog's mind inside the house, and then he followed. And they couldn't believe it. I mean, there was no force involved. This beautiful dog, you know, I really felt like I connected with him at an almost spiritual level. When you connect with a 50 kilogram wolf lookalike, a massive Malamute, and he touches his nose with you and you look him right in the eyes and you know that he said, yes, I will follow you. When we understand what they really need, then they transform and will start following us without all this need for clickers and treats and you know gadgets and widgets and throwing chains and going growling at the dog's face. They're actually incredibly loving creatures. They're such beautiful animals. Because I see things every day. I hear owners go, wow, every day, every dog I work with. And it's a beautiful thing. It's something I don't want to just keep taking home and going, wow, I'm explaining to my wife saying, <laughs> Guess what happened today? That's what would be different. When you connect with an animal that size, an animal of nature, it's a beautiful thing. This is Millie. She's a rather excitable and determined little bichon. As you can see, I wasn't spared from Millie's harassment either. Time to have a chat with her owners and make a plan. So, the key to everything is making sure that dear little Millie understands that you're in charge. You're the, the decision makers in the pack. After an hour or so of working with Millie and the girls, Millie was like a new dog. No yapping away in her old stomping ground by the front door, but rather a great dog who is happy to succumb to the leader of the pack. Good on you, Millie. Next, I was off to see Gail and Warren and their defiant Jack Russell cross, Lucy. Our dog's name is Lucy and she's three and she's a bitza, Jack Russell, Foxy, Corgi. She has not many problems but our biggest problem is she doesn't come back to recall. If we open the front door she gets it, she's gone. So here we are at the park with Lucy and we're going to start training the recall and what we've got is 55 metres of four millimetre thick line, so a pretty thin, thin line but it's very strong. We've got a clip which we're going to attach it to and clip onto Lucy so we can keep control of her and we've got some beautiful tasty treats here. We'll just pop this, I didn't ask her to get out so I'll ask her to get back in. Back in you get, in you get, hop, good girl, wait. It's a tiny little thing but all these little things add up. Okay, good girl, come on. And the idea is we're going to just drop this long line on the floor and just let it run. The key is to make it fun. So call her over, reward her immediately, and then let her go again. Beautiful. So Lucy's got the idea that the recall is simply calling her. She gets a reward and we let her go. She's realizing we're not here to spoil the fun, which is what so often happens. The recall becomes the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Whereas with her, it's actually becoming a fantastic thing. She's, yeah. she's hanging out for the next recall, effectively. Yeah, 
I didn't. I had no idea that all those little things that you've brought to my yep. attention, the five roles, and and the things that we do every day, and we're just reinforcing the fact that she's the boss, and that we're there to serve her, which is not going to happen anymore. Fantastic. Yeah. So for a complete solution to training your dog, stopping all of those unwanted dog behaviours and raising the perfect puppy, check out my video website, The Online Dog Trainer.